It's been fun to get to this point, and now we have Sweden taking on Scotland. Doesn't get much better than this. These two great curling nations, these two great curling teams are out. Well, first end of this gold medal game, and what an end by Scotland they put together. Pressure on, misses by Sweden, and Nicholas Adin now draw the button. Such a good shot. <laughs> and right out of the gate, too, to have to make that. So a 1 nothing lead, and then in the second. Man, Nick had a chance to split the rings. Just came up and an inch or two heavy, but it leaves an opportunity now for a tap for two. Can't miss those, so it is two for Scotland. They answer back. Great Scott for the start for the Scots. In this third end, Nicholas Adin draw for that second point. Yeah, the deuce was set up for quite a while, and Bruce Mona, his last one just decides, uh, we'll just peel the one out of the forefoot and give Nick a draw for two. There's nothing they could do. So a good call. Highlights from this gold medal game in the seventh end. Nicholas Adin was trying. He flashed actually on his first, so he had put pressure on himself with his last shot now. And needed to be in the forefoot circle. Had a little bit of backing, didn't want to use it. <laughs> and, uh, but the weight's absolutely perfect coming in. No line trouble, right on the button. So a single point there, and then right into the eighth, Nicholas Adin and his team controlling, put the pressure on, had to make a perfect guard, forcing this for Bruce Mallet. Yes, if the guard was missed at all, there could have been a double for three, and really broke this game open for Scotland but made the guard perfectly, draw into the four-foot circle. Uh, but that was a force to tie the game. And then in nine, obviously, the game shot. Pressure on. Yeah, Nicodine throwing this with lots of pace, trying to be just off the nose. And look at this. Just needed to make contact with that one. And that would be enough. That is the World Championship winning shot right there for Nicholas Adin. <laughs> Nicholas, congratulations. Uh, what a game, obviously, uh, to cap it off with that shot in eight. What were you thinking there? I was thinking a lot. <laughs> it was, uh, obviously, it's a, it's a shot that I normally would have a good chance at, but in this situation, it's uh, a little bit different, and I kind of knew it would run straight, so I kind of had to figure out how I wanted to play it, and we had a really similar shot against Switzerland in the, in the semis, so, uh, yeah, really happy when that hit the second rock down in the house, and, uh, yeah. And now, obviously, you're, you're joining a, a class of your own, a fifth world championship for you, three straight, no, no team has ever won three straight at a world. What does that mean to this squad? Oh, it means the world. Uh, obviously, we've uh, we, we've had a good run the last few years, but with this uh, year break and um, maybe with the Olympic final loss as well, we've kind of uh, like put more pressure on ourselves. We really, really want to win that Olympic gold, and I think this was a huge uh, step towards that. And I really feel that we can still still do our very best at these kind of events and perform when it matters. And obviously, a, a difficult week, but uh, the the different circumstances coming in, you guys still come out and play well in this last day. You have to be happy with your team. Oh, super happy. I think we, we uh, do a really, really good performance here, especially in the playoff games. I think uh, I might have struggled a little bit in the beginning, but I think the key was to really communicate around that and really make sure we, we dial in so that we could make a really good second half, and I think we did just that. Congratulations, Nicholas. Well done. Thank you so much. So. Bruce, obviously disappointing losing that one. In the ninth end, you guys knew you couldn't go for a blank. What was the thought process late in that end? Uh, yeah, we had to kind of force it a bit. Um, had a few misses in that end, which didn't really help us, but they made uh, all theirs, which obviously helped them. So, um, yeah, we, I don't know. It's tough to look back on it right now. Maybe in a couple of, de couple of days or weeks or maybe be able to look back on it in a different way. But, yeah, it's pretty tough right now. And you do go with the silver medal, a well-played week. You guys had a fantastic week. Now you get to this. Tough to look back on, but how do you feel your team played this week? Uh, yeah, there was a lot of pressure this week um, for multiple reasons. Um, 
we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to try and get this far and um, yeah we played so well to get here and it's as I said it's quite hard to look back on it right now but I'm sure it'll feel good in a couple of days hopefully that we've we've beaten our own record of a bronze medal. Well congratulations on the silver medal Bruce. Thank you. Cheers.